Welcome back, everybody. A very big week for the capital city. Yesterday, a verdict in favor of Hartford. A jury found it was justified in firing center plan the company hired to originally build Dunkin Donuts Park and then develop the area around it. So this means the city can now move forward. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Susan Rapp is live outside Dunkin Donuts Park in Hartford with the next step. Susan? Denise, Dunkin' Donuts Park is doing pretty well. There is a game tonight, and we are told it's almost a sellout crowd, but it took a while to get here, and the plan all along was to develop the area all around the stadium. Now it looks like that may happen, and there's some other good news for the city as well. The Hartford Yard Goats are now playing their third season in their new stadium. Getting to this point was rough. The city fired center plan, the developer, before the stadium was even finished because of delays and shoddy work. Another developer was eventually hired to finish the job. The city of Hartford won a huge victory. Center plan sued the city, but a jury found the firing justified. Now the city is getting back on track with the next phase of the project. We're really looking forward to the opportunity to develop all the stuff that's around us right now. Eric Johnson, the city's director for development services, says the entire area around the ballpark, four parcels of land, will be developed into apartments and retail space. Yes, you build it, they will come, and I think Hartford's a lot more of a dynamic place than people are giving the credit for. Also happening downtown, a big boost for the city's Excel Center. Now that Yukon has rejoined the Big East, season ticket sales and renewals are up, which means a lot more revenue. The antiquated arena needs major renovations. We're hoping that this will be, uh, that this will lead to uh, a greater interest in a public-private partnership because now we've, now we've got something that has um, gravitas. Would you go to a game? Yeah, of course, I'll go to a game. Big East, uh, I definitely enjoy, uh, this is like one of the kind of few places that's in Hartford to go to, so definitely I'll go for entertainment. The Excel Center gets about 600,000 fans a year. That is not necessarily a bad number, but with the Big East, there could be an additional 100,000. As for Dunkin' Donuts Park and phase two of the project, development is optimistically expected to start maybe by the end of this year, but this is a long-term project and we are told all of this could take up to five years. We are live in Hartford, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.